Hi, this is Mike with Designs by M, and this month I am a guest designer over at Crafter's Castle. And this month's sponsor is Sherry Baldy's My Besties. And so I used the digital paper and this cute little uh, printout here to create this fun little action wobble card. I will have links in the description box below of where you can purchase these really cute papers and digital images, as well as a link to the Crafter's Castle blog where you can enter to win a monthly challenge. Also, because I am part of the design team this month, please visit the other design team members' videos, which I will have listed below. And one last reminder, on September 15th, we will be doing a video hop for Crafter's Castle. So make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and you've clicked that bell not notification icon so you can be reminded when I do upload another video because there will be additional prizes to be won in that video hop. So. Without further ado, let's hop into the craft room and let's get started. All right, so before we begin, I just wanted to show you some of the uh, papers from the Sherry Baldy's My Besties. And these are some really vibrant um, papers here. And so we have the stars, we have this nice trick or treat frame with the spider web. I love the details on the orange. It's almost like a crackle, black crackle finish on it. I really like that and the distressed look, really great. Then we have the ghosts with the boo boo boo. All the Halloween colored stars. Another ghost with this, um, this really distressed paper. I really like the way this looks too. And I also wanted to show you, not only do you have to use the papers at their original size, but you can also scale them down. And so in this example, I did scale them down to use with my Silhouette Cameo. As you can see, I have registration marks here, and it'll go ahead and cut out all of these images correctly for me, but you don't need to have Silhouette Studio to do this. You can do this in any word processor. If you're able to pull a, a, doc, a picture file into a word processor, then 99% of the time you also have the ability to scale it. So if you scale that down in proportion, you'll be able to get a smaller um, design. And so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out and then I will meet you guys right back. All right, so I have my pieces cut out. And again, like I said, you do not need a cutting machine to cut this out. For me, it's just easier. It's, it's hard for me to cut around all these intricate shapes. So I like to just use my cutting machine to cut this out. But like I said, you do not have to. I have fussy cut before and have really had really great results with that. Um, so basically I cut out this piece to four and a quarter by five and a half which will go on top of my top folding black card base. And then I made this a quarter of an inch smaller. So this one is four by five and a quarter, and this will get layered on top. Now, the first thing that I really wanna do is ink my edges, and you can use any ink that you want. Um, I just had the black soot from um, the Distress Ink here. And because it's all being layered onto black cardstock, I really don't want this white edge showing. So I'm just gonna run that through there really quick. And if you really wanted to, you could kind of ink the edges like this, get them a little bit darker. This is gonna be a Halloween card after all, right? So let's just kind of distress these edges a little bit. I don't know if you really can see that on the camera, but I can see that that's gotten really nice and dark. And we'll do that to this one too, which I think you might see a little bit better. I'm not sure. Yeah, a little bit. I just basically don't want the white to show against the black cardstock. So that's pretty much my goal here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put this aside and I'm going to work on coloring this guy. One of the, al the also the other reason that this is gonna be a quick card is because I have a lot of coloring to do. 
So I'm going to go ahead and start coloring this guy and I will meet you back when I'm done. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and color this in. I was going to use my Bic markers, but there's a lot of fine detail in there and I am really not sure if I'm going to be able to get the, um, the markers into some of that detail. So I figured I would switch over to the colored pencils. And again, I am not a color expert. I really am not good at it, but I'm gonna go ahead and speed through this so you can at least watch it. And then we'll meet right back and see how I did. All right, so there you have it. So I colored her in and I used my blender pencil or this, it's called a color blend, color pencil blender. And it's got some alcohol ink in there and it blends it just a little bit. So I think it did a pretty okay job, but let's go ahead and put this all together now. All right, so it's time to assemble our card. First thing I want to do is attach this to my card base. I am using my advanced tape glider. And so I am just going to run some tape on the edges of this. And if you use a ATG and you get some glue on the edges, all you have to do is kind of just run your finger along the sides and it kind of pushes it to the back. So let's line this up like so, there we go. And I'm going to put this one right in the middle, just like that. in the middle like so perfect and before we apply that I think I am going to use a little bit of wink of Stella that's just gonna give this just a little bit of shine in some spots so I think I want to do let's see I think I want to do the bow tie and maybe the watch 
and maybe the brim of the hat. Just to give it a little bit something something. And I know you are not going to be able to see that. I'll try to capture that in the photo at the end, but just a tiny, tiny bit. All right. All right, now to finish this little girl or guy off, I am going to be using an action wobbler. So these are a lot of fun. So I'm gonna take off the adhesive if I can. There we go. And I'm going to peel off the adhesive from this side too. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and lay this right in the middle, about like that. And then we're gonna pop this now right in the center of here. That looks about good to me. Let's press that, try not to get my finger in the wink of Stella that's still wet. And there you have it. So this folds, this goes flat to fit in an envelope and when you pop it out of the envelope, he kind of moves a little bit and he's just a really cute card. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. Don't forget that I am part of Crafter's Castle. I am one of the guest designers of the month, which means I will have links in the description box below of the other designers. Please make sure you go check out their videos today. All right, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.